Um, the long and short of the story is that the, the Manchester courthouse was built by subscription, not through taxpayer money, um, I guess back in the 1800s. And the town, not the village, because the village didn't exist until the early 1900s, had donated the land to the, to the process. Um, so in the early 1900s, the select board got angry with the county because the, the town clerk was in the basement and was going to be evicted. So that caused your, your predecessors to file suit against the county. Um, the court case went up to the Supreme Court, and then they ruled, like they usually do, they ruled in favor of the town, but then sent it back to the lower court to work out the details. Um, and then, um, it was sent to either Wyndham or Windsor County. I can't remember which one. But obviously it wasn't sent to Bennington County because they would have had a terrible conflict. Um, and they ruled that, um, that the county could continue to operate, that the county could continue to use the building as long as it was used for a courthouse. And that when the county stopped using it as a courthouse, <coughs> the property would revert back to the town of Manchester, not the village. It was very specific. Even though the village was cited in the ruling, um, it really wasn't involved in either the construction or the or the or uh, providing the land for the courthouse because the town was the only entity at the time. Yeah. Um, so I heard back from Jim Colvin, who's one of the side judges, and he has told me that the Supreme Court has has indicated to them that. They are not planning to use the courthouse in the near or long term. Um, we are the only county in the state that has two courthouses. Uh, <coughs> Hence so the, the north and the south shire. Shire, yes. Um, it was really, I think it was really important at the time, especially in the 1800s, that you had a courthouse. That was sort of a sign of, it was really a, you have a newspaper, a courthouse, a couple other things. Well, interesting was. side note, the newspaper, the Manchester Journal was printed in the back of it, behind the courthouse, down down a level. Um, oh, where the village offices are yeah, today? Yeah, yeah they, the, the printing presses were in there. I remember that. I used to go there. And, and oh, visit really? That. Well, I think the, that's where one of these signs got taken off of, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, and, and now they're located next door at the church. Lester Thompson was the master printer here in the big press. Yep. Oh. Just a little side note. <laughs> so it looks like the town will be... Uh, Stuart Bennett was the editor. <laughs> Stuart Bennett. Yeah. What, what, what year is this? 1950-something. Um, BCE. <laughs> um, so it looks like the select board will be taking ownership of the courthouse. Um, and uh, I would recommend that the select board, along with some vi village designees, put together a committee that, to figure out what to do with it. It probably is the most significant building, one of the most significant historic buildings in the town. I'm trying to think of, um, I mean, you've got the seminary building, you've got the Equinox, you've got the courthouse, you've got a couple, the Congo Church, the Baptist Church. The Mark Skinner Library. The Mark Skinner Library. Hildy. Hildy. You've got a couple buildings that kind of come come to mind, but the courthouse is probably one of the most obvious, though. This is right there, and of course, it wasn't originally built with a, don with a gold dome, no. but it was donated, apparently, by somebody who just thought it'd be nice to have a gold dome. Um, I think it was an out-of-stater. Yeah, who was vacationing at the Equinox. Yeah, I guess well, the story that... Connecticut? Yeah, but it was, uh, they were rehabbing the gold dome. Right. It had a gold dome. Right. Oh, it did? Yeah, it was just that it was gold. needed needed to be... Uh, <coughs> re... Re... re leafed. Gilded. <laughs> Re-gilded or re-leafed, yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever that was. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's not an urgent matter, but I think that maybe the board should start thinking about... Um, you know, there's a couple obvious um, answers. I, I don't know what zoning would provide for, but, you know, that it's some sort of community function, whether it's a theater or, or a museum or something like that, or whether you sell it. Um, you know, right now it's assessed for 369, no, 639,000, which you seems... You could put a pinball museum in there. We could, yes. There you go. Compete with the other one in town. True, you could. <laughs> um, <coughs> Sorry. Um, so that's the update on the village courthouse. Okay. Kind of an interesting turn of events, I'm sure. Are you recommending a task force uh, yet, or is this something? I, I think you should consider putting together one with a specific charge of coming up with um, 
some well thought out ideas of what. I think you've got zoning concerns. I think you've got neighborhood concerns. I think you've got historic concerns. Steering committee. Yeah. yeah. Steering committee. I was going to recommend that you probably also right from the get-go get the preservation trust involved oh, because yeah. they're going to be able to give you some guidelines mm -hmm. on what you can and can't do with the building. Yep. Yeah. First thing we can do is probably take out the drop ceiling, right? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no. Probably yes, but yes. I don't know. But that's those, like those are the kind of questions. That there are a couple just, mysteries in there of like what's under that, for example. Probably don't want to know. Yeah. I'm sure it has a specific. Yeah, that was a reason the drop ceiling have to be to be historic. Um, they were historic. Well, was, it, it strikes me as being in public buildings energy for a long time. There was an era, an era of time where like in, in Neo was in the New York State Capitol, they th had just thrown desks into the hallway, like the metal ones, and they had these beautiful mosaic floors, and they smashed them all up. Mm. And then during World War II, they painted in the ceiling, the, the skylights, because apparently th they thought the Germans were to bomb Albany, which would probably be <laughs> very low on my list of places that I would bomb if the Germans <laughs> had a plane that could get that far. Um, but there was a period of time, especially in the 60s, drop ceilings were popular. Um, well, in the 60s. Um, in 70s. Yeah, go ahead. When I was in school, um, we had air raids where we would all leave the classroom and sit in the hallway with oh. our, because we were going to get nuked, and that was going to save us if we all sat against the hall with our hands over our heads. At least figured out that going under your desk wouldn't work. <laughs> that was all during the Cold War. Yes. You might as well go out in the front line opening up your arms. Yeah, we'll watch it. Yeah. Bomb shelters. We, have um, them in the we did have bomb shelters. So that's that's a that's a good idea is to get the historic preservation trust. And and I think that um, I'm usually not one to say there might be grants for something, but depending on who ended up taking over the building, there might be some there might be some help in restoring the building to its. I would say pr probably. Yeah. Open up that jail. Yeah, it's, it does have a couple of inches. The, we, there is a jail cell in the basement. Yeah, yeah we used to use that. Um, there's a lot of history in there. That was featured, by the way, in a podcast of, about <laughs> I um, two major haunted of places. Yes. Did you? I don't know if you ever. Wait, heard we can that. put a plaque up for you. What? We we'll put a plaque up for Wayne. For Wayne. Anyway, it was featured in a podcast about haunted places, and and oh. the uh, and the the two cells in the downstairs were prominent in the podcast, and the podcast is really good, actually. Was, yeah. was there a story where they were going to a guy up and the guy who he supposedly murdered Charlotte Todd just before they were going to hang him? Was that... I don't know if anybody still has them. They did a big fundraiser years ago for the courthouse, and they had these t-shirts, and it said one was, I was courted in Manchester, yeah. and it had a picture of a gold dome, and they raised, raised a lot of money for really? it. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, we are doing anyway. We are doing skateboard bumper stickers, by the way. If anyone, <clears throat> so we're going to give it some thought. Okay. We'll, we'll pro uh, probably be putting together a, a <laughs> committee of some sort. 